A lot of people don't want to fly. A lot of people calling this the summer of travel hell. We're talking widespread flight cancellations, delays, lost bags. Airlines based in these United States canceled more than 120,000 flights between January and July of this year. 120,000. This morning, the Points Guy is releasing its sixth annual Best Airlines report to help consumers book their next getaway. In this country, coming uh, in at number five, we're going to do the countdown. Alaska Airlines, number four, American Airlines. And number three, United Airlines. Number two, Southwest. And topping the list for the fourth year in a row, Delta Airlines. Brian Kelly is CEO and founder of the Points Guy. You are the original Points Guy. Yes, original. Let's be clarified. Let's be clear. <laughs> you are the original guy. recipe. I was concerned about yeah. this. Yes, I was concerned. <laughs> and Bastion at Delta, number one. You're the yeah, guy. Delta, fourth year in a row. Uh, oh. What is going on with Delta to allow them to do that? In other words, what factors are you so looking the, yeah, at? Yeah, the four main factors we looked at, the biggest was reliability, right? Because no matter if you're budget or luxury, everyone wants to get to where they're going on time. So that was 30% of our overall score. The second factor was the experience. Um, we actually put some weight this year on family travel and the airlines that are nice to families. Delta now actually has family seating, so that got them a little extra love. Uh, the third was cost and uh, reach of the route network, because you want to be able to go places on gotcha. an airline. And then the final thing is 25% were the point sky, so it's loyalty. Uh, so frequent flyer program, we actually checked to see if the airline offered the seats because you can have, you know, if you have points, but you can't use them. What good the is point? it? Yeah. So yeah. the funny thing is Delta didn't actually come in number one in any of those categories, but they posted really strong in all each. So in very each good of, in each category. Exactly. So, what about reliability? Yeah, reliability. Delta, you know, this has been the year of uh, flight cancellations. Uh, Delta was extremely high, but Hawaiian took number one. Really? Which isn't shocking when you think about Hawaii. Is Aren't in, they a smaller? No, they it's just a, it's fly a back small, and forth to Hawaii? Yeah. yeah, because, you know, they've got pretty pretty darn good <laughs> Don't hold it against there. them, Tony. That's I know, so, it's great. I wish I was on the flight right now. <laughs> so that's why we had weightings for all those different categories. Uh, United, number one for reliability. No, for loyalty. 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 Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, for, for return customers. And I will yes. say United and Southwest. So Delta was by far the number one, but uh, United was just a hair behind Southwest for that number two spot. Uh, so, uh, gotcha. but they, they came in number one for loyalty. Their frequent flyer program's great. And what I love about United, they have miles on a mission, which allows their members to donate miles to charity, which um, so many people don't want to travel. Who I, has miles on a mission? United Airlines. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they allow their That's members to really okay. innovatively donate to charity, that which I nice. love. But you still hear all the stories about people saying, it was terrible, it was terrible, my flight was canceled, there were delays, blah, 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 blah. Some people wish you canceled the whole list. They'd be yeah. like, you know, if you got canceled, this right. your flight well, got canceled. But you still got to like, get no to type. point A to point B. You do. And honestly, not every airline is the same. Delta only had just over one complaint per 100,000 travelers to the DOT. You know, Delta does do a good job. I flew them recently, and, you know, even though there was a delay at JFK, they put frequent flyer miles automatically in everyone's account. So I do think Delta goes a step you know, above and beyond in the consumer. They're also the most expensive airline. So I think it's interesting though that, and they're profitable. So consumers yeah. are willing to pay to be treated like humans. I think mm -hmm. that's the key theme we're seeing. And as a, a little bit of hope going into the fall, yesterday there were only 92 flight cancellations in the US. Things are getting better. I'm an eternal optimist. <laughs> Me too. I'm hoping the airlines, you know, uh, COVID waves, you know. So what should travelers start to consider as they get ready to, to get on a flight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've always, I always check my flight. I use FlightAware, which always check to see where your aircraft's coming, coming in from. Mm -hmm. uh, you can set alerts uh, for your flight. Always get the airline app. Um, and, you know, when possible, there are credit cards that offer flight delay and interruption coverage. So just by putting a flight on a credit card that has that coverage built in, if you're delayed in the airport, need to get a hotel room, usually the airlines won't cover that, but your credit card can. So always look to your credit card coverage. Okay. Brian Kelly, you're the best. Appreciate the you The original us. points guy. Yeah. That's right, the original. Yes. He's guy. the original recipe over there. <laughs>